I think it's time to go for a walk. Mid-March and two more feet of snow in the past 24 hours. I don't think winter's ever going to end. There's about a foot and a half of snow, so I'm trying to walk while making the video. It's not really working out well, but I'm having the fun, and that's all that matters. Plus, I know there's some holes here, and I don't want to fall six feet underground. So in last week's videos, I visited Tolsona and Glen Allen. Whoa! That's one of the holes I was talking about. And if you want to live remotely, Tolsona would be a great place to live because it's only about 13 minutes, I think, from Glen Allen. And Glen Allen is uh, uh, the biggest town in this area, and they have a nice-sized grocery store. So if you want to live remote and pretty much be close to things that you need, like food, um, Tolsona would be a great place. After Tolsona, I went to Glen Allen. And like I said, it's a nice grocery store there. There's about 439 people who live in Glen Allen which is more than Tosona. Tosona, by the way, has 12 people living there. And um, Glen Allen is, I guess, considered remote. You know, everybody has their own definition with what's remote, I'm finding out when I'm here. To me, Glen Allen is not really that remote, but that's only because of the other places that I visited during the road trip. But it is remote. It's about three hours, I think, from Anchorage. And the Glen Allen area really doesn't attract me all that much uh, for no particular reason. It's just, you know, when I was out there, and I, I, I'll be there again, so I'll have to check it out more closely. But it just seems like it's more open and less trees and forests. Uh, of course, there's areas uh, there that have a lot of forest but from what I saw it's not a place that I want to want to live and the funny thing is there's a good chance I will wind up being there because land in that area is a bit cheaper Why do I feel like while making this video, I'm turning into a snowman?